Hello Cancer, this is Debs and this is your reading for April 2021. Cancer, I hope you're well. Um, I'm kind of just recovering from the Pisces reading. Oh my goodness, that was so deep, so intense, um, a lot of energy um, around me. And actually, as I left the room, there was um, a shift in my lights. My lights started flickering. It was really strange. But anyway, I don't know why I'm mentioning that in your reading. You could have Pisces in your chart. You could be connected to a Pisces. So uh, watch, it, watch that reading. Uh, oh, watch out, watch out. Okay. Cancer, um, the energy coming through for you is really lovely. I'm connecting with someone who is a little bit shy, a little bit quiet, not really wanting to go out and socialise, somebody who's more of a homebody, somebody who prefers their own company, somebody who maybe is a little bit nervous of being out and about, maybe someone who doesn't really um, feel comfortable around big groups of people. Um, has been maybe a little bit of a hermit. Um, cancer, something's going to happen, which is going to be rather surprising, which is going to shift you out of your comfort zone. But I'm being told that you shouldn't worry because this was all destined to happen. OK, I've also been hearing the words very clearly in my head. Please do not disregard this opportunity. Please do not disregard this opportunity. OK. So. Cancer. Are you ready? Let's hope so. Here we go. Calling on the divine, the higher angels and ascended masters from the pure white light. Please guide me in this reading for my beautiful Cancerians. What does Cancer need to know, please, for April 2021? Mm -hmm. I'm hearing this is something you're going to be thinking very deeply about, but Michael's saying don't spend too long thinking about it. Don't spend too long thinking about it. OK, yeah. Embrace the fear. <laughs> Push through the fear. Fear is not a real emotion. Remember that. OK, cancer. Yeah. Don't be worried. Don't be worried. Don't stress. It's going to be shocking. It's going to change everything. But go with it. Go with it, Cancer. Okay. All right. Wow. Starting off with the sun. Oh, and a message of love. Oh, my goodness, Cancer. Yeah. You've been through it, my beautiful Cancerians. This is you. I don't want to take it. I don't want to take that offer. I'm not interested. I don't know where it's going to lead me. What if they break my heart is what I'm hearing. Okay. Yeah. Decision made. Somebody's made a decision. Somebody has also decided to give something up. Okay. Yeah. Wow, Cancer. I keep hearing shifting out of your comfort zone. Wow. Okay. Oh my goodness, Cancer. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Cancer, someone has not been able to move on from you, away from you. Yeah. I don't know why I'm hearing cherry pie. Cherry pie. It could be a song. It could be someone's nickname for you. Your nickname for someone, someone could love cherries. I'm hearing cherry pie. <laughs> okay. All right. Mm. Yeah. Moon in reverse, all will be revealed. Now that is also your Cancerian energy. You may be lifting the lid on your true feelings. Nine of pentacles. Someone here is either breaking free 
and that is a secret coming through which is going to push push them into single energy yeah death card scorpio major change and transformation this is going to be a very significant reading for at least one of you okay it feels quite specific it also feels i'm getting the word very intense it will feel thank you michael very intense all right guys right shifting the camera a fraction okay so cancer the sun now you could directly be connecting to a leo at this time thinking about a leo wanting with the page of cups to contact a leo there could be something here about enlightenment about a child somebody's got pregnant somebody is pregnant the sun and the page of cups can be pregnancy could be a shock for some of you if you are in a connection and you've been wanting to fall pregnant for a while it could be oh my goodness i'm pregnant okay the sun is also potentially thinking about traveling this can be global travel or you moving into a much happier time maybe less stressed meeting new people or meeting one particular in per person one particular person who wants to express themselves in the past cancer you went through a tough time seven of swords this is a lot of sneakiness this is a little bit of manipulation and i think even though you tried very hard you couldn't let that energy go you found it very difficult to let that go and it could have put you into a place pushed you thank you michael into a place of fear i just don't want to be with anyone else because it's going to happen again because i'm going to be moving forward with somebody who is deceitful somebody who isn't honest somebody who is unfaithful somebody who will hurt me again that's what i'm hearing You're very tempted, Cancer, to pull back. In your energy is the Queen of Cups in the reverse. Very tempted to pull back is what I'm hearing again. You could be thinking of someone here who pulled away from you, who didn't show you love. Maybe some of you got embroiled with someone who didn't appreciate you and you kind of numbed yourself to love generally and that was really hard for you and you've got someone now coming in who's made a decision to be with you. You're going to surprise yourself, Cancer, because you're going to have very strong opinions, which you are going to relay to this person. And it will surprise you because you won't feel any fear in expressing those opinions, where previously I think you kept them under wraps. Not wanting to rock the boat, not wanting to cause chaos, not wanting to cause issues. I don't want to be difficult, but now you will feel the need to express yourself and you're going to be able to do that with ease and it's almost as if you may feel you at that moment will be given strength from the divine to enable you to do that Michael, when have we got the devil coming through in the immediate future, please, for my Cancerians? 12th of April to the 23rd of April. You're sat in the devil energy in the reverse. I think you're relaying to someone that you have had issues in the past, maybe in relationships. For some of you, you've stepped away from a Capricorn, ended things with a Capricorn. This could also be you shifting your life in a new direction, Cancer, taking control of the reins of your life in order to bring in much needed happiness. You could be accepting an offer of love from someone that previously you may have disregarded, 
turned away. Not interested. I think you're going to embrace this. I think you're going to move forward with this, but you are going to be, I can, I'm hearing, given the strength to speak your truth. Whoever this person is has been going through it. With the two of pentacles in the reverse, they could have just been incredibly busy in the work that they do. They could have made a decision to travel to see you. And with the pandemic, that's not easy. It could be that someone's made a decision between you and someone else. And you may also have recently made a decision to move away from a toxic situation. We have two people coming together who are going to be moving into a beautiful healing relationship. Healing each other by being together. What you seem to be fearing, Cancer, with the Ten of Swords in the reverse is that you are still healing from the ending of a painful situation. Therefore, fearing that you're not quite over someone in the past that hurt you badly, who deceived you. But as Michael is reiterating, this is going to be a healing relationship. This person is going to help you heal the last vestiges of that pain from the past. Something that you never thought that you would be able to get away from. That was such a burden for you. In your hopes, fascinating, page of pentacles in the reverse. Hoping that whatever this potential relationship is for you, hoping it's not going to disrupt a child that you may have. Hoping it's also not going to disrupt your finances. You may also be hoping in a strange way, Cancer, when this person moves towards you, you may be hoping it is someone that actually really wants a love relationship, not just a friendship. You could have been caught up in a situation in the past where you fell in love with somebody, but they treated you more like a friend. It became more of a companionship. And even that could be toxic. That's unrequited love. The outcome is the Queen of Wands. Now, you could be moving towards the Queen of Wands. You could be sitting in the energy of the Queen of Wands. So if there has been the energy of you feeling down, feeling sad, okay, not wanting to offer love, feeling very emotional, not wanting to go out or socialize, this is you getting your strength back, getting your fire back. This is a highly attractive woman who goes to get what she wants. You could, in a strange way, surprise yourself, Cancer. If this is your energy, because whoever this is, is going to allow you to move back into yourself again. Feel that passion for life. Feel that enthusiasm. This is someone who is going to help you regain you again. Partly because they've been through a similar situation. Partly because this is someone who is actually moving hell and high water to be with you. And that's something that's going to make you feel amazing. Wow, they want to be with me so much. That is what they're doing. Oh my goodness. It's going to make you realize you are worthy of someone sacrificing for you. Pushing you into the Queen of Wands energy. We have someone here who never forgot you, someone here who always had you on their mind, but I feel that they were, at the time that you met, involved with somebody else. I do not think it's this person. This is somebody who wasn't deceptive, wasn't manipulative. This was somebody else. This is another person that you met 
a while ago. I don't think anything happened. It could be that you were just colleagues, you were just friends, or you just dated a couple of times, but you didn't move forward with this person or this person didn't move forward with you because at the time they were in a connection with someone else. They might have been wrapping up a connection. They had to make a serious decision and I think this is that person coming back into your life saying decision made. You're worried that maybe they want to move forward into a friendship with you again? Maybe? No, this is someone who feels that chemistry with you, who misses you. With the lovers, this could be a Gemini. If not, this is someone who had to make a choice between two people. This is also someone, Cancer, who felt that past life connection with you. But with the Ten of Cups, they were in a relationship and they had to make a decision about what to do. This is someone who was also dreaming of moving into that Ten of Cups of Ten of Cups energy, if I can speak with you. Two of Cups underneath the lovers. This is a very powerful connection. Particularly, as you will see, we have the sun. We have death. We have the moon. Such strong emotions. All about emotions. The death card is transformation. The moon is very deep feelings. The sun is the happiest card of the deck. This is a very intense connection. This person, maybe try as they might, Cancer, could not walk away from you emotionally. They could not detach. This person is still looking at this energy. I know Cancer's my person. I know they're the one for me. I am making a decision to sacrifice to be with my Cancer. You are still, at this point, Cancer, reliving a very toxic relationship that you went through that might have almost damaged your faith in love, prevented you from wanting to be with anyone else. This is you getting you back. Beautiful. Oh, my goodness. Cancer, let's delve in. Archangel Michael, what is the sun energy, please? This is enlightenment. This is enlightenment. That I feel that someone's coming forward towards you to express their truth. This is someone who wants to build with you. And it's going to be, I'm hearing again, out of the blue. It's going to be out of the blue. The magician, yeah. So we have Virgo, Scorpio, Gemini, energy. Ooh, thank you, Michael. My goodness. All right, we have two cards on the floor. Wait one second. All right, guys. So here we go. Magician, okay. We then have the tower. Scorpio, Aries, energy. This is someone who you are going to be shocked to realize has been trying to manifest you back into their life. They're coming forward to you with a message of truth to say that they have disconnected from someone else, cut someone out of their life. And there's a lot of love here that they want to express. Now, energies can be switched. This could be you. What is the energy of the devil in reverse, please? This is you reliving what happened in the past. in reverse you lost faith in love you could have had a difficult ending with a Taurus 
You got out of a relationship where maybe somebody treated you like a friend cancer for a long time. You couldn't cope with it. Now, either this was a marriage that dissolved because you realised the passion wasn't there, the love wasn't really there, you were more like companions. Or this is you getting out of a toxic situation from the past with someone who didn't ever want to commit to you, not properly. Yeah, you're thinking, well, the last relationship caved because they didn't want to build with me or they were involved with somebody else. I wanted marriage. I wanted passion. I wanted real love. It didn't happen. I was just left out in the cold. This is also somebody who could have used you financially, left you penniless. And so with a hanging man energy, Pisces energy, this is you feeling still a little bit trapped in the past. You're still chained to this energy. This is the person who's going to break you free of that. Yeah, still chained to that energy, still terrified that a similar situation is going to come to pass with this person. This is someone who you may even have known as a colleague, a friend, but there was definitely a spark of chemistry. This person was involved with somebody else in a commitment when you met. For that reason, you may have decided I absolutely can't go there, but this is this is someone who was changing their situation. What is the two of pentacles in reverse for this person? Please, Michael, thank you. What is the two of pentacles? What have they decided? What has this person decided? I'm hearing they decided to come back to you decided to come back to you. I'm hearing they're taking charge of their situation. They want to be with you. They've made a decision. This is quite difficult for this person. They could have gone through quite a lot. They could have had to have pushed other people away. No, I want to be with my cancer. Okay. It was really tough. But I think this person is coming into your life to say it's over and I want to be with you. This is someone that may have found it difficult to express their feelings before. But I do believe this is someone who is now wanting to open up. They've been very conflicted. Yes. About expressing whatever this is to you. Yeah, wanting to know your reaction. So we have the strength card. Leo energy, somebody who had to have a lot of strength and courage to take a leap of faith in your direction. Aries energy. It took a lot for them to start again. They needed to balance out their life. We have Libra energy. Look at these major arcana. Wow. This is someone who may have gone through a bit of a court battle and they might have relocated another major arcana, Chariot, your card of cancer. No more procrastinating, they're moving towards you. They've made a serious decision. This has all been divinely guided. Look at these universe cards, oh my goodness. The Emperor, more Aries energy, they've taken control. Yes, could very well be Aries, Leo or Sag. With the King of Wands, they're coming through as a king. They're looking at you, they're taking charge. They're telling you, I'm moving in a new direction. I had to sit and think about what I wanted in my life. I've chosen you. I'm moving towards you. I'm wanting this love. My goodness. I had to fight off other people's opinions. I had to stand up for what I wanted and I've lost a lot of money. This is somebody who could be going through divorce as we speak or just finished the divorce process. Knight of Swords. Yeah, I had to go through a legal situation. Maybe this person had a child or they're just coming in to talk to you and to say... You know, Cancer, I don't just want to be your friend. I want to be with you. There's a lot of passion I feel for you. I know what you've been through in the past, but I want to build with you. And this is me showing you that I mean it. That I mean it. What is the key, the Queen of Wands, please? What is the Queen of Wands? This is you getting your self back, getting your va va voom back, having a reason I'm hearing to celebrate. Yeah. This love will be accepted. You two will move forward. 
you could even be considering moving to be with this person. You could be moving in with them. They could be moving in with you in the next, I'm hearing, six months. Okay. There'll be a sense of achievement, okay, because you're finally, Cancer, finally moving into a connection with someone who really appreciates you, somebody who is going to treat you in the way that you wanted to be treated. This is a healing, again, I'm he hearing a healing relationship. This is beautiful. Okay, let's have a look, guys. Yeah, <laughs> so taking charge, Cancer, Queen of Wands, Nine of Cups. This is celebration. This is you, very excited about what the future is going to bring. Four of Cups, this is divine love that you can now accept. Yes, beautiful. Three of Wands, waiting for your ships to come in, embracing change, turning your back, finally on the past. Feeling a sense of excess, success and achievement. Ace of Pentacles, stable offer of commitment. Oh my goodness, Knight of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Energy. Ace of Wands, two Aces, look at that. This is stability with passion. And this is going to be, for the temperance energy, Sag energy, a beautiful healing relationship. Temperance is about healing. Cancer, this is a really beautiful energy. This is kind of, you know, a happily ever after. Both of you have been through the mill, coming together, being together and healing each other. Now, let's see what this person wants to say to you. What does this person want to relate to my Cancerians, please? What do they want to say to my Cancer? Thank you. <laughs> so we meet again, my dear friend, through, through space and across time. Definitely a past life connection. Okay. Well, if I can get the card over. You leave me breathless and without words. Okay, wow. So, Cancer, I think this is going to be a beautiful connection. I think this is going to be well-deserved. Enjoy it. Don't disregard this opportunity. Run with it, with your feet on the ground, okay? Stay grounded. But I feel, feel that this is going to be a relationship that is going to get rid of all of this heaviness, heartbreak, pain from the past. Because whoever this is has been through it too. And you two are going to move forward together. And there's going to be a lot of stability and a lot of passion. And this is you coming back to self. Guys, amazing reading. If this is for you, quite a specific reading, do reach out and we can see where it goes. It's DebraClaire.com. Details below for now. Sending love and light your way. Many blessings. Take care. And I'll connect again with you soon. Bye now.